Hey, 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 Gemini. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your weekend reading for Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Oh, this is for June 5th to the 7th, by the way. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today, Gemini. You can get something out of it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Gems, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the information can be found in the description box below. All right, Gemini. I'm going to pull four cards here. Then I'm going to get a channeled message for you from Spirits. Remember, time is fluid. What's going on for my Gemini? Interesting. Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Judgment. Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands. And the Star card. Ooh. Okay, let's get this message from Spirit Gemini. Okay, sorry, they're playing a song in my head and I'm waiting for them to get to the to the lyrics. I think it's Daydream Believer. They're giving me all these old songs. It just gave me Let It Be. I think it was John Lennon. For Taurus. Now it's Daydream Believer. Um, I forget who sings it. Is it the Beatles? That's, I don't know who sings it, but Daydream Believer. So that's your song. Okay, anything else? Take your heart and run with it. Now that statement can be taken in many ways, but whatever your first inclination was with that statement, go with that. Okay? Gemini, you may have a decision coming up. It's a lot of decisions happening. You've got the star card, card of Aquarius, right? And it's right above the judgment card, which is the card of reunion, the card of awakening. Um, can also be karma, karmic balance, right? This is about healing and wishes. And I think like not unlike Aries, it's like you let something go, Gemini, <laughs> with this Ten of Wands. You're, you're no longer resisting, right? You're just like, I'm done. I'm too tired. I'm tired. I'm letting my wands down. Take the fucking wands. I'm off. I'm going for a swim. <sighs> Naked. I'm going to heal. And then guess what happens, Gemini? We'll clarify in a minute, but I'm pretty sure it's somebody from the past. Now, it could be, could be, if it's somebody that you do not know from this lifetime, it is a, this one, it is a um, soulmate from a past life. Oh, Gemini. Okay, and this is clarifying this. All right, whoever this is has been spying on you, has been looking, peeping on your social media there, right? So we have the Knight of Wands and the Page of Swords. So the, this person has a lot of passion for you, but this person may have also been, maybe still is, in and out of your life. No consistency. That's what I'm feeling with that. Okay, so clarify this star card. What's with the star card here? 
strength. Yeah, you're you're trying to heal. You got eight eight here. You could be dealing with a twin. Doesn't have to be. What is it that Gemini lets go of? Six of Wands. The Page of Wands. All right. I feel like you too, right? Had this feeling of waiting. Although the Three of Wands isn't here, the Two of Wands was at the bottom of the deck. I'm feeling with, with the Page of Wands. It's like you had this optimistic outlook like, yeah, this person is coming back. Now, this isn't for everybody, but this is for some of you, okay? But I feel you gave up. You're just like, fuck it. I'm letting it go, right? I'm feeling free. I'm feeling victorious, Leo energy, right? You also got Leo energy here. You could have that in your charts. So I'm going to heal. I'm ready. I'm ready, Freddy. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Three of Cups. Reunion. Again. Also third party situation. Why is the Three of Cups here? Yep. Don't let this energy do this to you. Listen. Gemini. You have the full moon in Sagittarius in your seventh house of relationships. Okay? And I believe the full moon is on... I'm just going to check because... I should have checked before. I'm pretty sure it is July 5th. Full moon. Oh, ju sorry. June 5th. Full moon. Sag June. Let's see. Is there a full moon? No, that's too not. Oh, wait a minute. I got to put 2020. Sorry, Sag. Hang on one minute. So I'm like, no, it's not. Full moon lunar eclipse. July, June 5th. I don't know why I keep saying July. Maybe something's going down in July. But June 5th, which is tomorrow. Do a full moon ceremony, but make your own. Okay? Like I was telling, I think I was telling Taurus this. Taurus, yes. So I was telling Taurus, make your own. You can look up some full moon ceremonies so you get the gist of how people want it, right? But it doesn't even matter. Maybe it's even better if you don't. Just do your own full moon cer ceremony of letting go. And this is a full moon lunar eclipse. So it, it, it's stronger. It's in your seventh house of marriage and partnerships. Okay? So this is the perfect time for you, Gemini, to be letting this shit go. It's going to get your focus out of your head in this merry-go-round, okay? And it's, it's going to put you in a place of balance, okay, and freedom from this. All right, tell me about the Page of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. All right, Gemini, first... Ugh. You thought that this person was your destiny, you were looking forward to it. You're like, yeah, this is my destiny. I can feel it. It's my karma. You are meant for something. Yes. King of Wands. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. Five of Cups. It's like you overcame this energy uh, of depression, right? Focusing on the negative. You're like, no, I'm going to focus on the positive. I'm going to be optimistic, right? That Sag energy. I'm going to be optimistic until finally you realized, nah, I, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. It's too heavy, dude. All right. What is your advice besides letting go? Seven of cups. What are your options, Gemini? Think of it that way. Okay. Stop with the confusion. What are your options? All right. If you let this go, what does that open you up to? Just imagine, right? What does it open you up to, Gemini? Clarify this. Seven of cups. Ah, two of wands, which was at the bottom of the deck. Okay. It opens you up to choosing you. 
leaving something behind, choosing to be optimistic about your future, not including anybody else right now, just knowing that you will be put on your destiny, on your fate. You'll be getting on your fate train. And whoever's meant for, for you, Gemini, will be on that same train. Okay? Two of Wands. Wait a minute. Say that again. Okay, they're saying, when I mentioned the train, it's funny. They used to give me train dreams years ago. Every once in a while they do now, too. Like, I had this dream. Oh, maybe this is relevant now. They're saying yes, okay. So, I had this dream, this reoccurring dream. And I don't usually have reoccurring dreams, right? So, when I do, I pay attention. I'm at a train station. For some reason, my father's there. Not quite sure. He's a twin, so I don't know if that had anything to do with twin flames or anything. But anyway, he was there with me. Three trains. Three me's. I was choosing which train to go on. So I'm feeling this is relevant here, Gemini, in that you have to decide which reality that you want. What are you going to choose? Where do you want to put your energy? Which train? What kind of train do you want to ride on? What kind of experience do you want to have on that train? Yep, decision time. Let this go, then decide. Don't decide before them. Do the letting go ceremony, then decide. Because this is you, Gemini. You are the magician. You are magic. You are the master manifester. You have everything you need to manifest your dreams. You know what you deserve. You know your worth. Okay? All right, Gemini. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the link to my Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. Have a good one, Gems, and I'll talk to you soon.